Methionine is an essential amino acid. In mammals, it is a crucial component of the diet because it is not synthesized by mammalian tissues, and it is a vital building block used to synthesize proteins required to build and maintain virtually every tissue in the body. If mammals are unable to consume enough methionine, protein synthesis cannot proceed, compromising the health, productivity, and life of the animal. In dairy cattle, methionine is essential for tissue and organ maintenance, growth, reproduction, fetal growth, and perhaps most importantly, milk protein production. When a cow synthesizes milk protein, methionine is among the first limiting amino acids, which means it is one of the first amino acids in short supply. Without this vital building block, a cow simply cannot synthesize milk protein, reducing the amount that is secreted by the mammary gland and ultimately sold to the consumer. Research shows that when methionine supply is deficient, the protein content in milk can drop as much as one to two tenths of a percent. To help overcome this deficiency, Balcom Corporation has created AminoSure M Precision Release Methionine. AminoSure M is methionine that has been encapsulated to protect it from rumen degradation so that it can be absorbed post-ruminally by the cow. To better understand methionine's role in milk protein synthesis, let's take an in-depth look at how the cow actually builds milk protein. A cow receives methionine from two primary sources, the feed she consumes and from microbial protein generated in the rumen. These proteins pass from the rumen and ultimately into the abomasum, where they are broken down into individual amino acids, including methionine. The amino acids then travel to the small intestine where they're absorbed into the bloodstream and transported to cells throughout the body, including cells in the mammary gland. Looking inside the cells of the mammary gland, we can see the tightly wound strands of DNA which contain the genetic instructions to build every protein in the body. In a process known as transcription, RNA polymerase first unwinds a section of the DNA helix to expose the genetic instruction needed to assemble a milk protein molecule. The instruction sequence is copied to form messenger RNA. When transcription is complete, the messenger RNA strand carries the genetic information for making milk protein from the cell's nucleus to the molecular factory called a ribosome, where the process of translation begins. Inside the ribosome, transfer RNA molecules match the genetic instructions in the mRNA to a specific amino acid. This assembly line builds a specific sequence chain of amino acids, a basic milk protein molecule. As long as the ribosome has enough amino acid raw materials available, milk protein molecules will continue to be manufactured. When the milk protein chain is finished, it is folded into a precise shape critical to its function. It is then released and shepherded to the mammary alveoli where it's secreted in milk. Because methionine is a limiting amino acid, many times there is not enough methionine available to build more milk protein molecules. When this occurs, milk protein production is halted, negatively impacting the protein content in milk and dairy farmer profitability. Unfortunately, most high-producing dairy cattle are deficient in methionine, and supplementing diets with traditional sources is ineffective because most of it is degraded by rumen microorganisms. Through advancements in nutrient delivery technologies, we can now meet the methionine requirement for the lactating dairy cow by protecting it from degradation by microbes in the rumen, helping to build proteins responsible for supporting cow productivity and health. At Belchem, we understand dairy nutrition, and we understand the economic challenges of the modern dairy farmer. Supplement your cow's methionine requirement with AminoSure M Precision Release Methionine, and help them build more milk protein and your bottom line.